How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up the iPad Air. Now what you're going to do, first things first is going to ask you to choose the language, okay? English, choose your region. This is very important because of the App Store in terms of buying and knowing the conversion and what type of money you use. So, United States. Now at this point, um, the iPad can be set up two ways. One way is over a wireless internet connection. So for example, if you have Wi-Fi at your house or if you have a uh, cafe, Starbucks, whatever, you can tap into their Wi-Fi network. If you don't have wireless internet, the other way is you will have to um, connect it to a computer and you will have to install iTunes on that computer. So those are the only two ways to set it up. If you don't have access to a computer, it's got to be through a wireless internet connection. If you have the internet but it's not wireless, you can go to like a Radio Shack or a Best Buy. You can pick up a wireless router and with that, you will be able to make your internet that's wired, you can turn it into a wireless connection. All right, so kind of long, long drawn out explanation, but I want to make sure you understand what you have to do here. We're going to choose the It's Morphin Time Network. Password is Awesome Sauce. Coined by Mr. Andy DeWire from Parks and Recreation. Once it connects, it will move right on to the next screen here. Okay. Take a couple of seconds. It'll ask you to enable location services. That's basically giving the iPad permission to use your location. Like, for example, if an app is trying to help you find out the closest restaurant or closest movie theater uh, or just use like the uh, maps feature um, you will need to have this enabled don't worry it's something you can turn off later if you decide you don't want it to be on okay enable location services we're going to tap set up as new iPad so this is setting up uh, like it's your first time um, so it will just have the basic stock Apple apps on there and you can kind of download the things that you want now the next thing here is um, you have to sign in. You have to have an Apple ID because what this does, this facilitates all your purchases. So whenever you buy something, it will save it. So you have a record of that you purchased it. So if you ever wanted to like download it later on a different device, you could do that. It also will ask you to input credit card information. So if you are creating an Apple ID for the first time, keep in mind that uh, in order to download apps, you do have to have a credit card on file. You don't have to use it. You might say, hey, I just want to do the free stuff. I get it, but Apple still requires you to have a credit card on file. So from the time for the time being, <clears throat> maybe maybe you're saying I don't have an Apple ID. If you do have an Apple ID, just tap sign in and you can sign right in with your account. You have access to everything you've already purchased. If you don't have one, you will tap create a free Apple ID. Um, or what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just skip this step for now but it's something that we'll ask you to do later. Okay. Next terms and conditions, we're going to tap agree and agree. It will ask you if you didn't want to create a passcode to protect it. If you're the only person who's going to be using it, I would say you don't really need a passcode. If you're going to have multiple people using it, I would recommend setting a passcode or if you're going to be somewhere where you are maybe suspicious that someone may try to take it. Uh, if it has a passcode, it definitely makes it a lot harder to uh, steal it. So, you may want to set one. For now, I'm not going to set one. I'm just going to tap Don't Add Passcode and Continue. It will ask you now if you want to use Siri. Of course you want to use Siri. So tap Siri is your voice assistant where you can say, Hey Siri, and it will say, Hey, what's going on? Or you can ask you to look up directions, sports scores, Google something. So it's a really cool feature. I definitely say turn it on. You Siri. Now this page, what it does is it will send information to Apple regarding if your iPad were to crash or have any problems running certain apps. Personally, I always say don't send because I don't know what other information they could be sending besides the basic stuff and I wouldn't want any of my personal information to be sent so I always just hit don't send for this one. And that's it. From here we're going to tap get, get started and here is your iPad Air all set up now uh, you will have to set up again your Apple ID when you're ready to do that you're going to go to settings and then you will go to iTunes and App Store and here is where you can either input an Apple ID if you have one if not you can create a free one 
right here okay but for now you will be able to surf the internet uh, you also can sync an email account so you can use the, the iPad without downloading apps but you're definitely going to want to set up an account pretty soon because the apps are a really key part of using the iPad hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like favorite and share the video uh, make sure you like us on Facebook facebook.com slash h2 tech videos as well as follow us on Instagram at h2 tech videos take care and thanks for watching have a good one